My prayer life now, and this is what I'm gonna advocate for you, it is completely different than journaling. And I'm not saying you shouldn't journal and I'm not saying you shouldn't spend concentrated time in prayer, but my prayer life is constant. It is very rarely me on my knees for an hour. It is most often as I am going every minute throughout the day. Why? Because I really like God. <laughs> I really like him. And I feel like he's with me all the time. And I also feel like I am missing 99% of what is happening around me if I am not asking him what is happening around me. Mm -hmm. And so there is just a constant, Lord, what do you want me to do here? What do you want me to say here? God, what, what do you want me to know about what was just said to me? How do you want me to react here? There is a constant conversation with God going through my mind all the time. Now, here's the thing about living that way is it's just a little crazy. Like, it really is. If you really pray without ceasing, if you really are just God constantly, I'm with you, I, I know you're here, what do you want me to know? You are, you are going through life a little bit, either talking to yourself or talking to somebody invisible. Mm -hmm. Now, I say that, it, it should be obvious, but some of y'all just went like, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. I say that because I think as Christians, we don't talk enough about how absolutely crazy we are. <laughs> like how <laughs> odd all of this is. Like I hate talking about prayer and I rarely do it. One of the reasons I don't do it is because of the verse that says, don't be like the hypocrites that stand up and, and pray. But also I think talk about prayer. Like just don't be someone that goes boasting about it or, or talking about it. Like, just do it. That's kind of what he was, his point was. So I don't know that I've ever even talked about prayer, yeah. really, in yeah. this deep of a way. That's one reason. The other reason is because there is nothing worse to me than thinking that prayer is boring or that prayer has to be done a certain way yeah. or that there is a script for prayer or that this... Now, granted, Jesus said, this is how you pray. There is just a short little script. Um, but... I think the point of the script that he gave was to, to give direction and to show the things that we are to bring to him, which is everything. It's to, it's to wrestle out life with him. It is, it is the sin that we're carrying and the sin of other people. He, he built a model of just bring it all, bring it all. Bring what you need, bring what you want, bring what you're struggling with, bring it all. That's the Lord's prayer. We, should, it's, we can put it up in a minute. But outside of that, it's supposed to be a relationship. And for so long, I believe we've set prayer as this thing that we're all supposed to do. And, and I remember um, I was with a girl once and, and she was going through so much. And, and honestly, she was a girl that I was discipling. And so we met a lot. We met every week or so. And, and it was just kind of the same story every week, like the same struggles every single week. And, and so I would ask her every week, are you praying about this? And she would say, yes, I'm praying about it. And finally, I said this instead. I said, are you forming words to God about this? She stopped. She was like, no. So whatever her definition of prayer was, probably was more like worry. It probably was more like stewing and thinking, but it probably wasn't prayer. <laughs> 